Okay, let me show you what my wheel mods this time is. So before, with with these tires, the stock MN tires, because of the situation here, there's only about 20 mm clearance, so I couldn't really do a lot of things there. So your best option, I think, an easy option is to wrap around uh, some weights inside the rim. And what I used, if I have it here, I don't have any left, but it's this brand of soldering iron, but this is the 1 mm. 1.0 mm and what I use for the weights is the 2 mm which came with this um, reel so um, one whole pack of that is about 150 grams and what I did is uh, I divided it into almost two maybe three but this now weighs about 70 75 grams yeah but that's rotational wheels, uh, rotational weight. And you don't like that because especially if you have MN or WPL drive crane, it's not very robust. You are only relying on, for, in, for instance, 3mm drive shafts, output, output drive shaft, in, input drive shaft, 3mm, and you only have this really tiny brass um, gears, pinion gears and wing gears. And uh, they are known to be not very, you know, tight, and they wiggle around there. Maybe there's some, you know, some trick to it. But yeah, so the drivetrain is not very good. Um, it works, no problem. I mean, I'm not saying it's not bad. I enjoy it. But if I guess if you will put a lot more weight on the rotational force weight, then that will really uh, strain your drivetrain. Uh, strain your drivetrain and so what I've been trying to achieve even before was to get a non-rotational wheel weight so I've tried okay, I'll show you what I've tried I tried this ABEC pairing this is for I think if I'm not mistaken maybe not this is too small for skateboard bearing but that, that pairing that's not heavy enough and then I tried this M14 nut that I shaved off to make it round grounded off but this only adds about 15 grams each but then at least it's not rotational force but since shifting to a 1.55 tires you will end up with a low profile Sorry, 1.55 wheels, you will end up with a low profile wheel, a low profile tire, sorry, which is only about 13 mm compared to this, you have 21 mm for the profile of the tires, so which is good for crawling, um, but it compensates, I think because now you have a wider um, rim well inside or I don't know what it's called but anyway and so what I did is let me show you first here and what it gives you is a lot more room to make for non-rotational wheel weights on in this case on the knuckles steering knuckles set that aside so you see you compare this to here you only have about a working area of not 23 actually because you have to take into consideration those knuckles about 21 22 diameter but here you have 44 45 40 to be safe to give you kind of room and then what I discovered is a flange nut very simple very cheap 
flange nut. This is my hex adapter. That's a bearing I used to prevent it from spinning. To prevent it from spinning. Some washer. Sorry. Let me do it here. So this is a Makita M14 grinder flange nut. It comes uh, in pair. This is the one on the bottom and then you have the nut which I installed on the other side, on the rear, I will install on the rear. Uh, wait, let me show you. So you have, oh, but let me show you this first. So what it does is it has an, a 14 mm inside diameter and this is, and you have a notch there, right there. And I put it this way, the notch side up, and then you can put a suitable washer that will prevent this from going out and that's the beauty of it because yeah there's a notch inside uh, two different diameters from the positive side and the negative side and it fits quite perfectly on the steering knuckles and what I will do is I will just put um, foam tape double-sided tape make it a tighter fit and you put this there it's your retention it now serves as a retention retention ring I used to put this size this size ball bearing there and that fits perfect on those lot but when you tighten it up what happens is it is because of the position of the ring it's tightening itself and this one it's pushing down so basically what you want is clearance perfect amount of clearance so instead of using bearing which would be nice I just use that thing that just came up okay. <laughs> I just use this and I tested this already and it works uh, this is working so I have that retention and this is just a spacer and another spacer there and then you put your thing here oh, sorry about that okay so that's a spacer the camera should be anyway so that's a spacer there so you put the flange put the spacer in put another spacer and what I have is this 6x10 rings and you put your hex adapter, you put it over and uh, let me show you, I will tighten it alright so it's about as tight as I could and tight, tight. The other one, I'll show you later how I do that thing. But essentially, it's the same deal. So there, you can see that it's not rotating with the wheel, and so that's very good. And by the way, each of those is about already about seventy-five grams. So it's about no, this was this wasn't seventy-five. Uh, seventy-five the entire wheel, but the solder inside this uh, with, the, with the wheels is about 50 grams so this is 75 and it's non-rotational so again it's not rotating with the wheel and that's very very good same thing with the nut itself as you can see here Not well. There you go. It's not rotating with the wheel. It, it clearly rotates around. And that is very good. If you want to put more weights at the bottom, like uh, there's more space down there uh, in front of the of the weights. So that's that's good. 
and uh, I said I will show you what it is, so I will. Allow me for one second to, to be flimsy. There you go. So again, it's just this plunge nut and this nut came with this is a Bosch grinder this is the M14 Bosch grinder so I have this on order I have a, a pair two pairs actually because I also want to put at least to have an option to put something at the, at the rear usually I only put it on the front but yeah I think the rear would be nice too so yeah uh, usually the the ordinary grinders only come with 12 mm um, this one, the heavy duty one, Makita and, and Bosch would have 12 mm because they have a uh, sorry 14 M14 because they have an M14 shaft there. So yeah, um, if I can get my measurement here. So it's about 63 grams. For this which is nice because the other one that one this is uh, I think about 70 so it's a little bit uh, heavier and I will put that on the front and this is on the rear so that's my wheel weights so just put it around just get suitable um, retainers in this case I used that much I think am I correct maybe that little so yeah bye bye